Hello everyone and welcome to this week's reviews. P.L. Travers, Famous Nanny, is back in a new big budget musical, with Emily Blunt now swooping in to help the Banks family. The first Disney produced adaptation is a classic, so does the sequel live up to those enormous expectations? This is Mary Poppins Returns. From the opening moments when we're treated to a glorious overture played over Peter Ellenshaw's drawings, there's immediately a feeling of being brought back to the golden age of movie musicals. Rob Marshall has an obvious respect for the first film, and he recreates that old-school Disney charm with Mary Poppins Returns. Seeing Emily Blunt in the title role, it does not take long to see her as Mary. She brings a different edge to it than Julie Andrews, but is no less charming. Lin-Manuel Miranda is also wonderful as Jack the Lamplighter, and the rest of the cast does nicely too. The musical numbers are a key element in this film, and they're performed with expert choreography, while the songs, written by Mark Shaman and Scott Whitman, are excellent additions to the Mary Poppins song catalog. My favorite song is Triple the Light Fantastic, an energetic and toe-tapping number courtesy of London's Lamplighters. A Cover is Not a Book is another one of my favorites, this one set in a ceramic bowl. The animators at Duncan Studio did a marvelous job with the hand-drawn animation, which utilizes an appropriately 1960s Xerox appearance. While Mary Poppins Returns certainly made me smile through pretty much the entire runtime, Marshall also handles the more emotional moments quite well, too. The film does follow a lot of the same beats as the first film, but the reason Mary Poppins comes back is at least different, and the grown-up Michael's problems are not just a repeat of what his father went through. Overall, I found Mary Poppins Returns to be a superb follow-up to its classic predecessor, and just a delightful experience from start to finish, along with a needed message about the power of positivity over cynicism. Next up, like a CEO, Travis Knight, hops into the Transformers series with this entering the franchise, this time centered on Bumblebee. I have to admit, I've never been the biggest fan of the Transformers property. As a child, I was more interested in the Ninja Turtles, and the Michael Bay films did not do much for me. However, I understand the Transformers are more than just the toys and the live-action movies, and with Bumblebee, Travis Knight actually succeeded in making a movie based on those Hasbro toys that I quite enjoyed, and I ended up being quite invested in the story. A lot of credit for that goes to Haley Steinfeld, who makes the lead protagonist a likable character whose motivations and feelings are understandable. The bond she forms with Bumblebee is nicely portrayed, and I really have to commend the visual effects artist. Due to his voice box being ripped out, Bumblebee has to convey so much with just his body language, and the animators did a great job there. Even John Cena's government agent, who could have been written as a one-dimensional antagonist, actually has motivations that make sense, and you understand his thought process throughout the film. From a design standpoint, the movie also succeeds. Knight and the character designers went back to the more simplistic designs of the toys, and the action scenes are directed with a lot of clarity. I think the opening sequence will especially delight fans of the 80s cartoon. Speaking of the 80s, the movie is set during the decade, but does not overly make fun of it, like maybe another movie might have. There's also a heavy influence from movies of that era, and you can definitely make comparisons to not just E.T. the Extraterrestrial, but also the 90s animated film The Iron Giant. So Bumblebee does have its derivative moments, and the third act does descend into the usual robots punching each other. Travis Knight's background in stop-motion animation definitely helped his direction, though, leaning to what was a rather sincere movie I appreciated. Thank you for watching this week's reviews, and I'll see you next time.